<clears throat> Hello my beautiful and wonderful Aries, welcome back to Baby Boss Tarot. As always, thank you for your likes and subscribes, and thank you for the unsubscribes as well, just because I'm funny as fuck. Um, everything you need to know about me is in the About section, um, links to my Patreon, my PayPal for donations if you wish to donate, my website, and also uh, my eBay, okay? Um, for the next couple of days, I am literally putting a hell of a lot of stuff on eBay, you know, from tower cards, incense, gemstone rings, necklaces, um, and I, funny enough, I've got a hell of a lot of uh, world wrestling entertainment stuff as well going on there, okay? So, Aries, let's get into your reading, my loves. Who are you dealing with this week? Who is Aries dealing with in love this week? Oh, that's all Mercury cards. It could be a Gemini that you're dealing with this week. Oh, these are all, yeah, play down the sun. Um, whoever you're dealing with this week, you're going to be happy. It could be a Leo. Let's see if I can actually get some sun signs come out. Okay, you've got Taurus. Oh, God, they're all coming out. <laughs> got Sagittarius has come out. I'm just going to try and get quite a few signs for you. You'll know if they resonate with you or not. We've got a Pisces. I've got a couple more. Um, you've got Aquarius and Cancer. Okay, so Aries, let's find out your love reading for the week. So you could have quite a few energies coming towards you. Um, I've just heard you've got at least three. Three different energies. Possibly a Gemini, a Cancer or Aquarius. Okay. So Aries, you've got Remarkable. So notice everything remarkable about your relationship. And you've got um, Surprise. So you may be about to be surprised. I wonder what that's about. Let's get one more for my lovely Aries and connection. Your connection is internal and unbreakable. What I like about this Aries is somebody may be proposing to you, okay? Out of the blue, you may suddenly get um, a proposal because this connection is very strong between the two of you. Does Aries need to know, please? Thank you. All right, so you've got nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. Okay, this is more of an oracle read. Um, no tarot. Because I've got quite quite a lot to do today, guys. Okay, so this is like daily. What else does Aries need to know, please? Thank you. Alright, so Aries, you have got a uh, new moon in Libra. So a new romantic cycle begins. Yes, it's about time, Aries, isn't it? Okay, what messages from your person? And the person on your mind, or the person coming towards you, what messages? What messages from the person on your mind, or the person coming towards you? Is there any more? Someone is being extremely quiet with you, Aries. This could be somebody um, who, who you've got blocked communication with. No, they're not giving me any more other than this, okay? Okay, all other options never compare to you. The grass was not greener on the other side. Please take me back. Aries, your ex wants you to take them back. Okay, and apparently a Libra woman won't leave them alone. Okay. Um, yeah, I will just do a quick all signs. So you could have an ex that's got a Libra that won't leave them alone, okay? But your connection is as strong as steel. Ooh, that's a five-star song, Strong as Steel. Uh, listen to the lyrics of that. Okay, right, Aries, and then another Aries. Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, I don't think they're... In the past, they could have been spying on you, stalking, hacking, whatever. I have a feeling that they are no longer doing that. They may have uh, found out something that they didn't want to find out. Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus, that's far too many. But if you're dealing with a Taurus, there could be distance between you two, or um, you're closing out a cycle with a Taurus. Or they're closing out a cycle with you to go towards the King of Wands. There is the Aries or Sagittarius. Aries, dealing with a Gemini. Dealing with Gemini. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice energy if you're dealing with a Gemini. They are coming in all hot and heavy. They want to take control. They want to, want to boss up. Um, I will just clarify the Emperor, though. What's the Emperor here? Oh, they're coming out. The Eight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Um... Okay, they could feel like they're a bit stuck and bound to you, but they are overthinking a situation, okay? Um, they could be a little bit in and out with you. But I just need to get one more for clarity here. One more for clarity if you're dealing with a Gemini. Okay, that's in the reverse. 
King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, this Gemini, they're quite materialistic, okay? They're all about what they can get for themselves. All right? It's basically, it's going to be one-sided. Okay, if you're dealing with a Cancer, if you're dealing with a Cancer, they want to come out, okay. If you're dealing with a Cancer, uh, they're making the decision whether to say, stay single or not, but they are kind of weighing up their options, or they are trying to see whether or not there is competition for you, Aries, okay? What is the Two of Swords? The Hierophant. They could already be in a high level of commitment with somebody else, possibly a Taurus. It doesn't have to be. Or they could be coming out of um, a commitment with, with someone. This is the decision they have to make. Uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress mode. What is the Five of Wands? If you're dealing with a Cancer. The Empress and the Seven of Wands. Okay. Um, it could be that uh, the competition is um, possibly they've got um, a baby mother in their life. It could be that they've got a pregnancy on the way, you know, a baby on the way. But they're extremely um, guarded and defensive over this empress, which I think is you, that they are trying to um, fight off the competition for you, Aries. Okay, you are the divine feminine. All right, if you're dealing with a Leo, Aries dealing with a Leo. Um, you two had an ending and now they feel left out in the cold. Or you feel left out in the cold by Leo because you've had an ending. Dealing with a Virgo. You know, with the Virgo, they are holding back, possibly financially, either that or they're holding on to you because of finances. Eight of Wands, expect communication and fast communication. They may travel to come and see you. If you're dealing with a Libra, dealing with a Libra. Okay, um, if you're dealing with a Libra um, and you're in a long-term commitment with them, expect fights to come up. This Libra seems to want to um, win, win an argument with you. Okay more three of swords uh there could be you could find out that there's been a bit of heartbreak a bit of a betrayal or something with you dealing with the libra okay you could find out that they're already married in a commitment with somebody else all right but there is um the three of swords has come out here it doesn't have to be a romantic third party it can be um a betrayal of any kind or it can just mean that someone's in a hell of a lot of heartbreak okay areas of dealing with the scorpio okay the scorpio is overthinking the situation about a Queen of Wands. Alright, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, they're trying to do everything they can to keep stable in their life. Um, we've got Emperor and the King of Pentacles here. Let's just get the Emperor. They could be trying... Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Um, the Sagittarius wants to do anything they can to help you out financially and um, stable, okay? Um, I'm not saying that they're going to try and control you or anything. I'm just feeling that the Sagittarius is... They really want to help you out with your stability, okay? Um, possibly, yes, with finances. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. Dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn... Um, they are feeling like the, a wounded warrior and they're kind of, oh, <laughs> the way I'm seeing it, right? They could have played the victim, okay, if you're dealing with the Capricorn. Played the victim and now I want to apologise and heal the situation with you, okay? Right, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, dealing with an Aquarius, wow, okay, that's not. Again, everyone is overthinking situations. Everyone is so up in their head. They're feeling stuck and bound to something, but they're not, you know. Um, if you're dealing with the Aquarius, they're obsessing over a victory um, with you, Aries, okay? Um, they could be quite immature with the Page of Wands being out here. They could have addictions that they need to sort out or let go of here. They could be dealing with the Capricorn. They don't have to be. But they're wanting a victory, um, but they're overthinking this situation, okay? If you're dealing with a Pisces, dealing with Pisces. Ooh. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. The sun. Happiness, happiness, happiness all around, okay? And they could come in and offer you, um, you know, emotional stability here. You've got to get truth and clarity from a Pisces. You could be there wish fulfillment and they could see that you're healing. They may actually help you heal, okay? This doesn't have to be romantic, but I feel like this person could be a family member who's going to give you a bit of truth and clarity, something you need to know, um... 
they want to make you happy again. They want to make you smile, Aries, okay? They want to help you heal. All right, Aries, that was your reading, my loves.